नमस्कार आय एम दयानंद गावडे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन मॅथॅमॅटिक्स सेंटर फॉर डिस्टन्स एज्युकेशन शिवाजी युनिव्हर्सिटी कोल्हापूर टुडे आय विल डिस्कस द फ्यू एक्झाम्पल्स फॉर लॅग्रांजियन फॉर्म्युलेशन्स फ्रॉम क्लासिकल मेकॅनिक्स ऑफ एम एस सी फर्स्ट सेमिस्टर फर्स्ट फॉर एक्झाम्पल द लॅग्रांजियन ऑफ अ सिस्टीम इज यल इज इक्वल टू एम बाय टू ए एक्स डॉट स्क्वेअर प्लस बी टू बी एक्स डॉट वाय डॉट प्लस सी वाय डॉट स्क्वेअर मायनस के बाय टू ए एक्स स्क्वेअर प्लस टू बी एक्स वाय प्लस सी वाय स्क्वेअर फर ए बी सी आर कॉन्स्टंट सो दॅट बी स्क्वेअर मायनस ए फोर ए सी इज नॉट इक्वल टू झिरो राईट डाऊन द इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन्स एक्झामाईन द टू केसेस ए इज इक्वल टू झिरो सी इज इक्वल टू झिरो अँड बी इज इक्वल टू झिरो अँड सी इज इक्वल टू मायनस ए अँड इंटरप्रिएट फिजिकली नव सी अ सोल्युशन इट इज गिवन दॅट यल इज इक्वल टू एम बाय टू एक्स डॉट स्क्वेअर प्लस टू बी एक्स डॉट वाय डॉट प्लस सी वाय डॉट स्क्वेअर मायनस के बाय टू मल्टीप्लाय ए एक्स स्क्वेअर प्लस टू बी एक्स वाय प्लस सी वाय स्क्वेअर व्हेअर ए बी सी आर कॉन्स्टंट इट इज क्लिअर दॅट एक्स अँड वाय आर द जनरलाइज कॉर्डिनेट and the lagrange's equation of motion d by dt of d by l by d by x dot minus d by l by d by x is equal to 0 and d by dt of d by l by d by y dot minus d by l by d by y is equal to 0 therefore e m into a x double dot plus b y double dot plus k into a x plus b y is equal to 0 and e m into b x double dot plus c y double dot प्लस के इंटू बी एक्स प्लस सी वाय इज इक्वल टू झिरो किस फर्स्ट इफ ए इज इक्वल टू झिरो अँड सी इज इक्वल टू झिरो देन कोई पिशंट ऑफ यम झिरो ऑलवेज ए एक्स इज इक्वल टू झिरो अँड सी इज इक्वल टू झिरो देर फोर यम बी वाय डबल डॉट प्लस के बी वाय इज इक्वल टू झिरो देर फोर डिवायडिंग अँड सी इज इक्वल टू झिरो यम बी एक्स डबल डॉट प्लस के बी एक्स इज इक्वल टू झिरो देर फोर दिस इम्प्लाय दॅट सिम्प्लीफाय दॅट वाय डबल डॉट प्लस के बाय एम वाय इज इक्वल टू झिरो अँड एक्स डबल डॉट प्लस के एम के बाय एम एक्स इज इक्वल टू झिरो केस फर्स्ट केस सेकंड बी इज इक्वल टू ए अँड सी इज इक्वल टू मायनस ए पुटिंग धीस इन इक्वेशन Uh, putting in this equation uh, m a x double dot plus b y double dot plus k x uh, plus b y is equal to zero. Uh, then we get uh, x double dot plus k by m x is equal to zero and y double dot plus k by m y is equal to zero. Uh, from these equations. equations y double dot plus k by m y is equal to zero x double dot plus k by m x is equal to zero and x double dot plus k by m x is equal to zero and y double dot k by m y is equal to zero uh, that in both the cases we get the same equation set of equations of motion these are the differential equation of a particle performing uh, a linear simple harmonic motions and uh, the solution of these equation gives the displacement of the particle with the frequency of oscillation 
ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ के बाई एम ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ के बाई एम लास्ट पॉइंट जनरलाइज द मोमेंटम एंड साइकिल कॉर्डिनेट डेफिनेशन फॉर जनरलाइज कॉर्डिनेट न्यूट्रीनियन मेकैनिक्स द कॉम्पोनंट ऑफ मोमेंटम लिनियर मोमेंटम आर डिफाइंड एज द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द करस्पॉन्डिंग कॉम्पोनंट ऑफ विलासिटीज दैट इज टी इज इक्वल टू वन बाय टू यम एक्स डॉट स्क्वेर प्लस वाय डॉट स्क्वेर प्लस झेड डॉट स्क्वेर इज द काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द पार्टिकल and then the component of the momentum of the particles are defined as px is equal to dy by t by dy by x dot is equal to mx dot py is equal to dy by t by dy by y dot my dot or is equal to my dot and pz is equal to dy by t by dy by z dot is equal to mz dot Next, generalize the momentum. Uh, consider a conservative system uh, in which the forces are derivable from a potential functions uh, v, which is dependent on position only. In this case, we have dy by l by dy by q j dot is equal to dy by t by dy by q j dot because uh, potential dy by v by dy by q j dot is equal to zero. Uh, then the quantity p j is equal to d by l by d by q j dot is the generalized momentum associated with the generalized velocities generalized coordinates sorry q j dot uh, then uh, definition of from the definition of generalized momentum is exactly analogous to the usual definition of the momentum linear momentum and the word generalized momentum uh sub sums uh, linear momentum and angular momentum of the particle we have to explain um, uh, let a particle be moving in x plane polar coordinate r theta then we have its kinetic energy t is equal to 1 by 2 m r dot square plus r square theta dot square uh, hence the generalized coordinate generalized momentum corresponding to the generalized coordinate theta are given by uh, p r is equal to dy by t by dy by r dot is equal to m r dot p theta is equal to dy by t by dy by theta dot is equal to m r theta dot We notice that p r and p prime, p theta, respectively, uh, the linear momentum and angular momentum of the particle. Cyclic or ignorable co coordinate. <coughs> uh, consider coordinate which are absent in the Lagrangian are called cyclic or Lagrangian coordinate. Uh, Lagrangian coordinate or uh, sorry in a uh, ignorable coordinate uh, although the Lagrangian may contain the corresponding generalized velocity qj dot of the particle conservation theorem for generalized momentum show that generalized momentum corresponding to a cyclic coordinate is conserved the Lagrange's equation of motion uh, are given by d by dt of d by l by d by q j dot minus d by l by d by q j is equal to zero, where l is equal to l of q j q j dot t is the generalized function Lagrangian function. If the generalized coordinate q j is cyclic in l. then it must be absent in the lagrangian obviously we have therefore d by l by d by q j is equal to 
Thus, the Lagrange's equation of motion one becomes d by dt of dy l by dy by q j dot is equal to zero. But we have p j is equal to dy by l by dy by q j dot. Therefore, d by dt of p j is equal to zero and p j is equal to constant. This proves that the definition of generalized momentum corresponding to the cyclic coordinate is conserved. Next, conservation theorem for linear momentum. Uh, statement of theorem now is here. If the cyclic co-generalized coordinate qj is such that dqj represents the translation of the system, uh, then prove that total linear momentum is conserved. Consider in xy coordinate system and there are uh, two radius uh, vector uh, op and oq op ri of qj and oq uh, ri of qj plus dqj uh, consider a conservative system so that the potential energy v is the functions of generalized coordinates only that is v is equal to v of qj v of qj hence we have dy by v by dy by qj dot is equal to zero called equation number let p is equal to r i of qj be the initial position of the system and let it be the translated to a point q uh, is equal to r i of qj plus d qj uh, so that p q is equal to d qj n cap where n cap is the unit vector along the direction of translation and dqj represents the translation of the system uh, by force principle of derivatives uh, we know that dy by ri by dy by qj is equal to limit as delta qj to tends to zero ri of qj plus delta qj dqj minus ri of qj ri bar of qj divided by dqj therefore limit as delta dqj tends to zero pq divided by dqj as dqj tends to zero dy by ri bar by dy by qj is equal to limit as dqj tends to zero dqj by dqj n cap as dqj tends to zero therefore dy by ri by dy by qj is equal to n cap now the generalized force is given by qj bar is equal to y pi dy by ri by dy by qj is equal to y pi n i n cap therefore qj bar is equal to y bar n cap where y up is the total force acting on the system and equation 4 implies that qj bar are the component of the total force in the direction of translation n cap now the generalized momentum pj is defined by pj is equal to dy by t by dy by qj dot where t is the kinetic energy of the system and is given by t is equal to 1 by 2 mi ri dot square thus we have pj is equal to dy by dy by qj dot 1 by 2 mi ri dot square pj is equal to mi ri dot dy by ri dot by dy by qj dot mi ri dot dy by ri dot by dy by qj while dy by ri by dy by qj is equal to dy by ri by dy by qj dot and simplifying pj is equal to mi ri n cap therefore pj is equal to p n cap and pj is equal to p n cap where p is the total linear momentum of the system uh, the equation shows that pj are generalized pj are the component of the total linear momentum of the system along the displacement dqj since in the translation of the system velocity is not affected and hence the kinetic energy of the system this means that dqj will not appear in kinetic energy expression 
this is change in the kinetic energy due to change in qj is zero that is diabetes by diabetes qj is equal to zero thus from the lagrange's equation of motion on you using uh, therefore d by dt of diabetes by diabetes qj dot minus diabetes by diabetes qj is equal to zero therefore pj is equal to minus diabetes by diabetes qj is equal to qj bar now if the coordinate qj is cyclic then lagrange energy becomes diabetes by diabetes qj is equal to zero therefore diabetes by diabetes qj is equal to zero therefore pj dot is equal to zero and pj is constant that is this shows that corresponding to the to the cyclic coordinate qj the total linear momentum is conserved is conserved